round three of the D1 and Zed Casper Transmissions Pro Sports Series would see teams returning to the iconic Manfield Circuit, Chris Amon and the mighty Manawatu. The southernmost point of the 2022 D1 and Z season. Kicking off the competition season, driver Adam Whitehead out of Hawks Bay would take pole position, back an 82 point qualifying round. So this morning we've been practicing uh, in, the, in the rain all morning and it dried up for qualifying. We just basically pulled one out of the bag and scored a bean flat. Nice. The top 24 sifted through the ranks with conditions proving to be ominous. James Jeffries, Aaron Hyatt, Ra Hader, Rowan Knowles, Keisuke Nagashima, Dean Young, Isaac Aldridge. Cameron Bank would all move forward to the top 16, with those caught out left in the dirt. Oh, top 16 was full of upsets with top qualifier Adam Whitehead surprisingly getting knocked out of competition early. Series leader Connor Halligan would hold his ground against Ryan Hayter, securing a spot in the top eight. The young gun holding second place in the championship, Case Plum Bowie, would also get knocked out early after contact with the lead car. Mechanical drummers would then spill out onto the track with Sam West turning his bonnet into a windscreen. An opponent Dean Young de-beating a tyre in the second pass. Sent into an home and tee, Young would claim the win, moving through to the top eight. It would be the end of the road for James Jeffries as a big entry into turn 2 would cause contact with the lead driver. A spin in his lead, Connor Halligan would seal his own fate, sending him home with Andrew Donahue taking the win. New to the series, Dean Young would manage to find his way into the top 4 after taking the win off Keisuke Nagashima. That would be all for Cameron Bank after a mistake in the chase would move Calvin Clark on into the top 4. In the end, all roads led to the final with Andy Donahue and the McFarlane Autos S14 moving through to the final against Prime Avocados S13 driver Calvin Clark. With one pass to go, the drivers would fight the cooling track conditions as well as the low light as the sun would set on the competition. This wouldn't hold them back though as both drivers would push hard right until the very last corner. Yeah, so we've just taken the round round one here. Oh yeah, like final battle, it was getting dark right on dusk, so like that was super cool, like still just see enough. And yeah, sort of just, we were sort of on a time over there, so we didn't know if we were going to get out, but obviously we got sent there at the end, and yeah, that was wicked. It comes down to me basically, just keeping it all on track, and then yeah, like what a car, what we've been, so I'm stoked with what we've got, man, and take a win. Oh man, I'm pumped for Mount Smart, Bay Park, bring on the concrete jungles, like nice, because now it gets real technical, so we've just had our, our fast track, Manfield, where everything's fast and flowing, and now we're going to a concrete jungle where it's all just technical, sticking it to the walls, and yeah, speed sort of gets taken out of it a little bit, so it just comes down to pure driving and yeah, sticking it to each other, so yeah.